here. Mm -hmm. I went into take turns reactor, um, and I followed what happens when I get the take square event, what I call take square and react. Take square and react has actual logic in it, actual game logic. Mm -hmm. um, and let's see, so we checked to see that the, the click was invalid advance. Um, we, what is our state in this thing? Oh. Oh, this is a with statement. So this is basically taking the turn object and making sure I have to type turn dot. Yeah, I thought it's a when statement when right. I thought, saw it. So. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote it like 20 times. Um, basically, we create what the delta is going to be. Um, and uh, we check for it. So we create the new board by taking the click. And then we call this function check for ended on the new board. Ah, so our problem is that it's never ending. So let's take a look at what that thing does. Right. We check to see if the board has a victory, and we check to see if it's full. Okay, so that's why one of those is probably true. wrong. Yeah. And we drill down to is full, and I I caught one to myself. Oh uh, my god! I look at this and I'm like, <laughs> sometimes I love how concise column is, and sometimes it gives me headaches. <laughs> well, none will give us a headache if it's above. <laughs> because All right. What should be going so. on here. Um, do, 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 do git compare with branch accidental master um, the, the, the diff is impossible to read so let me just put in the fix okay um, all right okay we can go back and forth so well yes returns true well okay, right. no, okay. so, so what we were doing what we were doing originally is we um, we take the list of lists we turn it into a single list uh, we, uh, we flatten it down and then we stupidly call this first turn all thing Oh, 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 so, yeah. so basically we started with a list of lists and then now we want to flatten it so that it's in, uh, just a list of nine things rather than exactly. three by three. Right. That's, so as sequence flatten, those two combined give us that. Right. And first or null, what does it do? First or null gives you the, um, either the first value in there or um, a null if that's what it runs into. Um, it's, you're, that's the right face to make. <laughs> <laughs> it was a dumb choice. <laughs> I don't, I still don't want this. Like, so, you keep so, looking down the sequence and so, the so basically so he, we call um, we give it a lambda mm -hmm. so uh, first turn all uh, goes through the list oh that's a lambda I and, apply, so. and it applies this test mm -hmm. and the first thing it finds it passes the test that's what it returns and so for some reason I decided to try and try to find the first thing that is not a null mm -hmm. and if it finds one of those then uh, the board must not be full and otherwise it's true now I'm going to show off my like knowledge. Mm -hmm. Isn't there a function called or any or something of that kind so you can run the test so that you just can you can test whether all of them are non? Oh, there's, there's there's a lot of useful things like that. Okay. And, <laughs> and most of them would run into the same problem, which is uh, remember our player enum. Yeah. I decided that the your player is either an X or an O, but I didn't create a nobody's taken this. There should wait. If I was a smart person, this would have been empty, and this would be called player. This would be I called oh, I see. It's it's. Uh, all or not, rather than right. And so I'm using null to mean both. This is an empty square. I'm also uh, Colin is trying to use null for. Um, uh, um, I didn't find anything, and that was a bad choice for me. And that's a reason why I'm still confused. It's because it is confusing. Right? It's yes. It's, okay. it's it's so confusing that it, uh, I didn't notice it, and I never wrote a test for it. And people who reviewed the code that found other bugs didn't notice that one. So the fix. Um, which of course we have lost because I did stuff. Let's bring that back again. Git compare with branch master. The fix is to do that same stuff. We flatten the list. Um, calling a sequence is kind of silly. It just means that this can, we don't have to create the entire list of lists. We can iterate through it mm. cell by cell. Flatten makes it flat, just like we did before. And now we're going to call it for each. And as soon as I find something that is not null, I will return false from this function because the board must be full. I mean, must not be full. And otherwise, right. if I got the way through, then the board is full and I return true. Right. So with that fix, we go back to our test. What the? It's a Why did you got a window, window? office now. <laughs> I didn't want a new window. <laughs> I was happy with my one window. How did I? And uh, we, we run the draw test again. Yeah, it takes for a hundred milliseconds to tell the <laughs> Absolutely. Because for me, yes, I'm happy when the test runs very quickly, but I still want to see it in my yes. own eyes. So I know we're stuck still, so I have to you oh. know, run the app. Let's run the test again. Let's run the app this yeah. time. 
do, do, do. I should really save the authentication token. <laughs> All right. Mr. X, Mr. O. Let's play. Can I do the honors? I still like the middle. Yay. Okay. Oh, you're going to make me perform again. Oh, my God. I know, which is why it's nice to have a test. Oh, it feels like the exact same sequence. <laughs> Clearly, we didn't rehearse this. Uh, you're not going anywhere. Oh, there we go. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's a draw. Ooh. Excellent. <laughs> All right. So um, I I just really like how the workflow is. Sorry, should not use that word. But <laughs> that one stays. That one stays. <laughs> yeah, but like, but, but, but I don't oh. mean the stain machine. But the, the fact that the way we solved this bug was we went into the unit test and we used that to drive. The process of yeah. oh okay so first of all you can actually do a red green refactor rather than yeah. keep iterating so you can write a test case it fails go fix the logic and see if that fix the test um, and then iterate until you got to the point where you're happy with your yeah stuff. and so, I, I know like that the podcast workflow does me feel good about this but <laughs> it's <laughs> humiliated so <laughs> everybody wins <laughs> yeah um, except the draw anyway okay I'll stop coming sorry. <laughs> Let me show up one more nice thing on the testing front. So that was the, the tic-tac-toe test. We also have a test for, um, wait, where's the other test? Take turns or activity state. Oh, there should be a show. Oh, actually, it's in files, I think that's why. Ah, uh, yes. So, and I can't type under pressure, shell reactor test. That's the guy. Mm. This is the test for the workflow of workflows. Right. So we can do stuff like, um, we can test that, uh, once you get authorized, you're actually going to go and start the tic-tac-toe game. And it, we wind up with tiny little tests like this. So um, when we kicked this thing off, we created uh, mock launchers for the uh, thing that will run the run game workflow and the thing that will do the auth workflow. These are basically mock reactors. Um, and so my test is something as simple as um, my mock auth workflow, the next time somebody uh, uh, asks you to do something, I want you to finish with, yes, we're authorized. Um, this is the, the shell workflow that we're testing. Uh, we get a test observable out of it, and we check that it got one update. So yeah. I usually use mock things with Mokito, um, but this is a R Java mocking thing because it says on next. I'm, um, I'm just not sure what is the where's the mock. I don't see the word mock. That's, okay. <laughs> that's my question. So, so state is uh, an observable of um, our shell t shell state. Uh huh. And dot test is an Rx2 method that um, gives you a test observer out of an uh -huh. observable. And so that's something that automatically subscribes to the observable for me and that I can inspect to see what was actually put into it. Um, but yeah, my question is like when you are mocking the auth reactor, ah, it, how do you. Got it. Because well, basically in Mokito would be like dot when, mm -hmm. uh, um, then return. Uh, that okay. for what I. Um, this is just code. Uh -huh. um, we have this little test launcher class that uh, we whipped up to be able to make these tests, which um, uh, implements the launcher interface, the thing that, that the half of Reactor that will create workflows for you, um, and which has a React. I'm trying to remember how this works. So, yeah, so, so right now it's a part of the app, not a part of the workflow. Like it's a part of it's it's a it's a test helper class that's part of the library, part of the workflow. Oh, it library. is in the library. Yes. Okay, good. So what I want is the library to do the thing without me knowing necessarily how it does it because yeah. um, I think think about means that I can move faster. Yes. Okay. Um, yeah. Well, let's not go to the. But that, that's what it is. Okay. Good. Good. Um, good. I I was just when yeah. you throw around the word mark, I was like, oh, yeah. well, I don't see any marks in yeah. here. <laughs> so, um, basically. The, the, the punchline is, gosh, look, short test for testing the composite workflow. Yay! And yes, the test, the test support will be part of the library. Sweet. All right. Well, I think this is a good uh, point to call it a day. But like I said, maybe we'll do a sequel when all the juicy goodies are <laughs> launched. Uh, thank you so much. And, uh, well, Ray, where can people find you on the internet? They want to follow and make sure that they get all the updates about the library. <laughs> I'm the noisiest on Twitter, or I am RJRJR. Okay, I'll put it on the lower third. And, and Zach, where can people find you on the internet? I'm also on Twitter uh, as Zach Clip. All right, cool. And thank you so much. I've learned so much just about both how this particular library works, but how do you structure code in such a way that you have that clean separation? I mean, it's very meta, right? Like the whole library so that you can have clean separation, but also how do you do that um, as well? So 
I am so happy that we finally get to talk about this. Me too. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. Thank you. Bye.